Welcome those of you joining us here on FS1. Our post-game coverage continues from the Red Sox 8-4 game one win. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> How does it feel to be king? Hey boy, let's bring you up later. <laughs> It's Big Poppy's world. We're all just living it. And his Red Sox come through with an 8-4 to four win over those Dodgers tonight. And welcome if you just turned on FS1 or if you flipped it from Fox. Good to see you. The postgame show continues. Thanks to Mookie Betts joining us. He got things going. Eduardo Nunez, guys. Big spot. Pinch hit. Three-run home run. And there's a lot to this. First being that he was only hitting 188 in the postseason. You played with him for years. That's the moment of his career so far. It is, and he's 31 years old, KB, and I played with this guy for four years. He's an offensive juggernaut. He can do it all. He can hit good pitching. He can hit high velocity. He's a great breaking ball hitter. He hit an 84-mile-an-hour knuckle curve today on a 1-0 count and put the game out of hand. Guys, that is the reason why this guy won over 100 games during this regular season. I mean, when you have a deep bench, like, you can pull a guy like him out of the bench in that situation and come through, get a home run. That means you bench is dangerous, just like the Dodgers. Right. I'm just impressed the way they came out offensively. After five days off, for them to score eight runs and 11 hits and a frigid game tonight, I mean, I don't know, how do you, how do you stop Boston? I told you, I told you guys that the Red Sox have the way to maintain themselves, you know, like very, Discipline when it comes down to hit, they, the hitting coach, the new hitting coach that they have right now, I've worked with these kids so much. The way that the strike zone that they have is, is different than everybody else. Yeah, well, listen, there's one thing to the two out runs. They were the best in the league at scoring with two outs all year long, so it's no surprise, Frank. Six of the eight runs tonight with two runs. Do you want to acknowledge your fans here before they. <laughs> What's up? We knew this was coming. What a scene. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I love it. But, Frank, the two out I hitting, they were the best at it all year. And tonight, it was it was unbelievable. And, and they keep continue to come at you. If you make a mistake out there, they'll make you pay. They didn't turn a double play. The Dodgers didn't turn a double play there. Big set. They scored another run. This is a type of team that is so dangerous in so many ways. But we talked about it all year. Line drives travel. And this team up patiently waiting for strikes in the strike zone and hitting line drives all over the ballpark. You know, the biggest indication for me was how disciplined they were against the Astros. We talked about it earlier, against Presley and McCullers. Two of the best breaking ball pitchers, they wouldn't even budge. They would pass the baton. And Frank, to your point, two double plays, they could have turned, they didn't. It cost them three runs. It did, it did. You have a guy like Benny Tendi getting four hits, most, most of them opposite field. What that tells you, that tells you this team have an unbelievable discipline at the plate. They stay through the ball. They use the whole field. You have a guy like J.D. Martinez, who is one of the best ones in the game right now, hitting the ball up with the field. I mean, this lineup is extremely dangerous. Hey, Kevin, think about this for one second. You're talking about a world where there's no bunting and there's no stealing. Alex Cora doesn't have handcuffs from Dombrowski. He's allowed full autonomy to go out there. First pitch, you go against Kershaw. Kershaw allowed three stolen bases. That's like punching someone in the face in the first. It's something you don't expect, and it has a big effect. And one of the things that you guys need to know, I went early to the clubhouse, and I had never seen a clubhouse that they relaxed. I saw these guys. They were good to go, but in a good mood. I was talking to my boy, Alex Cora. Everybody, I mean, you can see how confident these teams is to go out there and Poppy, boom. Poppy, that's the first time you've ever been early to that clubhouse. You know that? <laughs>